Things are a little different at Red Pill Racing. Take a look. Overrun with cars. But we're back. Stand by for a Red Pill update. Here we go. The Red Pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. I took a red pill like I'm in the Matrix. When your eyes open, then it start to make sense. But you can take the blue pill to keep it basic. Going down that rabbit hole could get dangerous. You can choose to be a slave if you want to. Believe everything the media has told you. But take this, stop letting them control you. Hey, red pill popping, that's a whole move. Hey. <clears throat> Man, can you believe it has been almost a year? Since I put out a video over, other than the F-150 circuit race, which was freaking nine months ago. Hide your kids, by the way. It's fucking red pill. It's going to be a little cousin. But, podcast been dead as shit. I just heard from uh, Poverty Hollow about some shitty neon or city shitty or, I don't know, somebody in flip fucking feuding and, I don't know, I ain't heard none of that shit. Maybe I'm just too far out of it. But, my life's completely flipped different. Ain't even gonna get into it. The people y'all that know me know me. But we've got a new plan at Red Pill. Check out all these cars, man. It's minty, fresh, old school matchbox, man. Look at this shit. This shit even got to get that horse off the ground. God, he locked him in there during the day and he killed him. Shit. Oh well. Should have had him in the open air truck, I guess. Anyway, I am no longer a nurse due to no fault of my own. What I'm going to do now is sell, diecast, and what the fuck ever else I can do. So I'm going to be starting a page for sales. It's going to be, actually, if you've seen this video, I've got it live right now. Red Pill Diecast on Facebook. Still got Red Pill for Diecast on eBay. So I'm going to try to move away from once I get some people spending money on my site on Facebook so I can cut them fees out and give everybody a better deal but I mean I have got a bunch of cars to sell a bunch of cars I've got so many loose cars you can kind of get an idea just let me just let's see bunch of stuff bunch for racers bunch for just collectors I got new shit I got high-end convention shit I got five packs I've got a new rack for my list check it out Tell me that ain't the baddest rack in racing shit. Anybody seen the car to run through that list? They done something, I promise you. You got the 51 plus over on the one on down. That's the second row of them. 40 to 50. 30, or yeah, 30 to 40.9. And then the lightweights over here. Pretty, pretty badass list. I got a bunch of shit to sell though. New peg hooks, everything organized by casting. Look at all these chases. Anybody like some chase haulers? Go to Red Pill Diecast. I'm going to have all kinds of shit starting today. Post it on there. Get away from eBay because it's fucking suck. I'm going to have these. I know flip. Blue line. Oh, you boys want to modify them beasts. Look how long the wheelbases are. The Torinos. I got lots of Torinos, Tim. Uh, anyway, man, shit, it's, it's going to be hard to sell some of this stuff. This is so cool. But it's what I got to do. It's my job now, so that's what I'm doing. Since I got all this old shit, man, I got a couple of really badass Matchbox collections, like 70s and 60s cars. Look at this, still in the box. Just boxes of them, boxes of them. But a lot of them were mint, too, so we're going to take some of these and run them, see if they can match up on the list. They're going to be the two lightweight cars. We're gonna run all of these. They're gonna be into the up to 40.9 gram class. We're gonna take these bad boys up to 50.9, and then we got the heavyweights. I know scale racing's ran that when it's fast. Everybody knows that's super fast, but I know if you watch me at all. But I need another one. Instead of finding another old one, I'm gonna use this new FedEx truck that I found. And this thing might be a beast. Check it out. 
it's gonna be heavy. Man. Go ahead and start looking for them. Go find them and buy them. Because this thing's a monster. 82.9 grams. And the wheel length is I don't wheel base. Look at that next to the bubble gunner. That's crazy. We're gonna put him in there. Oh, close the door. You're gonna lose all your packages, bro. Not a one-handed operation, apparently. Anyway, we're gonna get these things racked up. Let's see what they can do. Let's run some races. Fucking red pill. There's your first matchup. Super GT in lane one. The Lincoln Town Car in lane two. We got the automatic start button. Here we go. Race one. Well, that was terrible. That's a one and done town car moving on. Only two cars in this weight class, though. He's going to go right now and run that avant garde. The gatekeeper. The placeholder in the super fly weight class. Let's go. Oh, he's got nothing for him. One and done. He does not even come close. 2286, 23. 71, that old town car just don't have it. How about that new boomer shine system, right? Nice. Billboard times. Love it. Next weight class, Aston Martin in lane two. The gruesome twosome with that crazy pink windshield. Gonna be in lane one. Here we go. Ooh, good race. 59 to 71. The gruesome twosome took it. Take that bad boy out. Pretty cool. I guess. Look, let's have some uh, wheels that have really good potential. He's going to be up by 12 thousandths in lane two. Can the Aston Martin come back? That Aston Martin has got the gold old school super fast wheels. I thought he might have smoked him, but the gruesome twosome looked good. Got him again. 54. 63 gruesome twosome. Moving on. Next up, Rolls Royce. And the Red Guildsman. He's got, him. He's got a trailer here. It's ready to haul some shit. Is he going to haul some ass or is he going to get his ass dragged? I have no fucking clue. Here we go. Oh, he tore him up. 2306 to a 69. We won and done that one. Let's save some time. Moving to the next race. Next match up, the pink guildsman. That thing looks crazy. Against what they say is a Dodge Challenger. I've never seen one like that before. Not on the streets of Georgia. That's for sure. Here we go. Where we just got smoke capped. What and done. Next up, another charger against the legendary Harry Holler. I guess he's legendary. Well, it's going to be called the Harry Holler. It's fucking weird. Here we go. Ooh, that charger got out the gate. 2263. That was ugly. But this thing right here. Check that bad boy out. That thing is cool looking. These things are so nice. These are not even the nicest of the loose ones, man. Just anything, anything that you might like, let me know. I'm in the business selling cars now, boys. Next matchup. Look at this bad boy. I don't even know what the fuck that is. The Grifo against the Lotus. That Lotus is crazy. It's got them wheels, though. Lotus and two. The Grifo. Grifo looks cool. I think the Grifo's going to get his ass to feel smoother on the track. Let's see if I am correct. Oh, yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, God damn, I'm about to tear up my boomer shine timer. Here's your winner. Check him out. I do have to say that Lotus is not near as nice looking. In good a shape as that bad boy. Next up, I know everybody knows this car. The red dragster. I think the magenta one's the one I've seen before. And when the fuck did magenta become such a popular color? That shit's everywhere. Everything's turning magenta. 
magenta street lights, magenta cars. There's cars I ain't never even seen before that's now magenta. What's this one say? Spider. So the spider against the dragster. I'm gonna say the dragster is gonna drag his spidery ass from lane one. Spider two. Here we go. Good to be back making a racing video. Shit. Oh yeah, I got another track. Check it out. We'll run that later. Not today. Here we go. The race. Oh, the dragster got stuck in the mud. Something. I'll swap that up. Well, that was weird looking. Slug way down. Got smoked. They were even at the bottom of the hill and it was like somebody threw an anchor on that bitch. Come on, Spider-Man. Do it again. Same result. Not a fluke. The dragster got drags her. Next up. Check out that thing. That thing got to be fast. It says turbo and it has flames. Turbo flames. What's it called? I got to learn these matchbox cars. I don't even know. I do know this one. The boss. That's a cool Mustang. Is it going to be cool enough to beat the Turbo Flames? Oh, Turbo Flames, how can you lose if you got Turbo and Flames? I'm going to blame it on the driver. Maybe Nick Deavers is driving it. Nick Deavers! Here we go. Oh, what a slow race. But like the Turbo Flames didn't have the Turbo or the Flames. He lost Oh, out, move them to the side, losers. I'll have gruesome twosome. Oh, look at the pink on magenta. God damn magenta. Magenta rules the world. God, this car sucked. You know what? We're about to just run elimination on the, for the gatekeeper at a 40 gram class. I know who it is. It's old Jesse. Jesse girl. She gonna smoke this dude. He ain't got a shot. There she is, Jesse. How you doing, Jesse? Come on out here, play these boys. That's a good left too. We'll go from the bottom. Look up, arrow, another Jesse. Arrow flash, bone checker. Mustang, call them turbo trams. Not a, people, not a lot of people know about that thing. Kill a croc. Kenner. Starburst. Hot ones, hot ones. Tram. Hot ones, turbo tram, hot ones. Turbo tram. Kenner, Kenner, Kenner. Hot ones. Oh, right there is special. So number one who let me down is scale racing, but scale racing just... I've never seen the gold hot ones really do that great other than the Marauders. But we about to see this Mustang get his ass dragged by Jesse Velocity doing Oh, that was ugly. 2237. Shit. Most of these cars ain't gonna come close to Jesse. A 37. It's crazy. This one, he ain't getting a run again. I don't remember which one of these was faster. Yeah. He was pretty quick. He was not. We're just gonna run these four. Will any be close enough to even get a race, Jesse? They threw some two, some in the. I don't even remember what. Who's going to take it? Let's find out. Oh, ugly. Here's your winner moving on. Oh, gruesome twosome. Looking pretty gruesome for sure. Again, look at the wheels. The next two, look at the wheels. Seeing a the theme? I am. I am seeing a pattern develop. Hmm. The Grifo. Good fast. Charger. Magenta. Use the magenta power. Woo! Grifo. 73 to a 94. That wasn't as fast as I thought. We'll swap them. Back to the top. We're going to make him do it again. I think he will. Race that hairy hauler. We're going. 
Yep, he's fast. He looks fast. 83 to a 91. Magenta Power did not get it done, but that's a cool ass car. Cool ass car. Like a NASCAR, fast car. You know what I'm saying? Alright, here we go. Don't get a chance to race Jesse because I think they're going to lose no matter who it is. Two cool looking rides. I like the blue one. But I don't think he's going to take them. That other car is just. Feels like it's weighted right. Yep. Got him. 50 to a 67. We ain't seen nothing run a 50 other than him. So I'm going to get rid of that. Is he going to get on the list? I'm going to say he ain't got nothing for the velocity, Jesse. Jesse is good. Boom. Said, don't forget, go now. Facebook. Red Pill Diecast. We'll have some cars up today. Start buying some shit. Here we go. Ooh, good race, actually. But Jesse takes it by 10 to 1,000. We're going to swap him and give him another shot. That was pretty damn good. Pretty good to get up that close. Because that anything on this list, period, is pretty impressive. Race two. Jesse going to shut the door here we go yep it's on that big end too much for the gruesome good time though 56 jesse will turn a 37 so there's nobody in that league right now not with these matchboxes there's got to be one somewhere you can go back to your home all right there and look at that honda trailer dude what that porsche with the trailer Crazy. There's another Honda trailer right there. Look at that thing. Shit. Look at this trailer. Oh man. It's got like, I can't do it with one hand, but it's got refreshments, coffee, tea, snacks, whatever you want. We'll take a break. Go hit the coffee truck. Shoot. Minty from the sticks. It's a red line of matchbox. What we got going on here. And then I just dropped it and broke it. Damn it. I guess I'll have to pay for it. It's all good. I've already paid. Ha! All right, next one's heavyweights. Check out that Celica, bro. That thing is cool. Against this Mercedes, I believe. Yeah. Check him out. Another cool ass car. 1973. Crazy. Got the green 66. What is he? It's a Mazda from 71. Then we got this monster. From 72. Take that bad boy out right there. That looks like the Nick Deaver's wagon. That ran. In modified madness. Gotta think Mathis. My boy Mathis. And everything I've had going on has been chaos. And I could not get the King of the Mountain for the first time ever. He put my boy Finn in a car, man. Finn kicked some ass. Dude, I love you, bro. Appreciate that. That's, that made my whole freaking couple of days, man. Check out the Porsche. 1970, super fast. Let's run these bad boys. I like that seller a lot, man. I hope it's fast. I have not ran them. I have graphited them, of course. It didn't look like a good thing if they weren't going to be graphited. There we go. Celica so got him. 88 to a 361. Neither one of those is going to do it. None of those will even touch Jesse. They're not going to get the race tomorrow. Run these next two. This guy right here's got these big old fat wheels. They are super fast, but they're super fat too. Just don't know how they going to. I just don't think they got what it takes. These are the wheels, I think. The matchboxes that have a shot. Actually, those are a little different. I don't see either one of these doing much. Let's find out. 23s. Not a whole lot. So the fat wheels beat him. He don't get a race again. That sucks. Next up, we got this cool AF Porsche. 
don't even know what some of these things go for on eBay, but I know that Porsche goes pretty nice. I went up to buy this collection, went all the way to Alabama. They had like 10 totes in the picture. Told me what he wanted for them when I got there. Once I got back to the woods, there's a giant freaking metal building. Here we go. Porsche got him. Close race. 12 to a 23. We're going to run again. Either one of them is going to move on. Race the other guy. But anyway, got to the woods. Had a big old giant metal building with like 20 foot roll up doors. And this house was built in the part of that. It's super cool. And he comes riding up on a razor. Like uh, six or eight, like eight totes on the back of it. He's like, hey man, I knew. I knew we had more than that. I remember them totes just falling out my car when I got them things. And I was like, hey. So, uh, yeah, Porsche moves on, but he ain't fast enough to race either. So none of these are challenge for the list, but cool to watch him race. Anyway, I got to looking at him in. At first, I was like, he's going to want too much for these cars. I think they're going to be junk. But apparently, he took pictures of the worst cars he had. Because, man, they were sweet. The new eight cases, the new eight totes like these. Look, I got one full of nothing but Johnny Light. This came from there. Got all the eights. I got dude, all these loose ones crazy anyway i had nine big totes he had eight more and uh i was wanting and i was wondering what he was going to do as far as price on them and uh i was like all right man so what, what you gonna do for all of them with the new ones that you found and he said uh I'll, I'll give them to you for what i ever trust them for so dude freaking dull with the amount of cars his name was clay shout out to clay I was calling him on the way. I was calling him Alabama Clay. Alabama Clay. And Alabama Clay is the fucking man. I just tell you. Told me he got him from an old picker deep in Alabama. I told him, you call me back. I would drive my ass to Alabama anytime. To get some shit like that. Alright, here we go. Supra. Mercedes wagon. Here we go. Woo, that's Supra, bro. That thing felt fast when I graphited it. Wow, a 2218. Damn. Damn, that's fast. 2298, disappointing, but that's that's gonna be the fastest freaking super I got right there. That's list worthy. He's gonna run the list for sure. These are the ones I'm curious about. This old bad boy right here. Made in China, huh? Hmm. Against the big bad FedEx man. Big bad FedEx man. I'm so shook by that time that super just ran. Badass. Badass. He gonna be racing him, I believe, to get on that list. I think he's gonna do it. Here we go. Somebody gets that FedEx truck. Woo! The, wow. At 2231, he is fucking fast, too. Hell yeah. FedEx, Matchbox. Go get him. I know y'all run into the shelves now. Go to eBay. Go get him. Shit, I got, I'm a, I got a couple of them. I'll put one on the Red Pill page. Go join it. Let's see them. The prices are going up right now. As soon as you're watching this video, these FedEx trucks are rising in price, and you know it. He's going to race the Supra. Let's see what they do. The Supra was crazy. You know, I'm not even racing them against each other. Change that. We're going to let the FedEx go for the list. Because if he gets on the list, I might have to double what I was going to ask for them things. For sure. What a tall task for him to race that modern classics Mustang. Is he going to do it, dude? I'll freak out if he does. Woo! He fucking got him. What the hell? A goddamn modern matchbox on the top fucking list. Got to swap it though. He's got to win both. Or at least average. 27 to a 35. That's fucking crazy. So I said, hide your kids, because some shit like this happens, I'm just going to be like, what the fuck? Fucking matchbox. I ain't done no work on the wheels other than I barely graphite it. Race two. Got them both races, dude. A 22-22. He's getting faster. That's freaking crazy. He is off the list losing to a matchbox I got from Walmart three days ago. What the fuck? It's crazy. Oh, this, I'm glad he won because we get to see this car. This car is my only Tomika on my list. Check him out. What? 
All right. Rolls Royce Phantom. He's 52 grams, bro. And that little tiny car. And he usually runs straight as an arrow. Matchbox. Trying to move up. Here we go. Got him. No, Rolls Royce. Got him at two one thousand. That's a freaking good race right there. Good race. And that car is fast. I like it a lot. All oh, these are Tomikas. Tomika. I like Tomika. Oh, check these out. Check out that bad boy. Dun, dun, dun. That thing's heavy, too. I'm going to interrupt this racing and weigh his ass because I hadn't weighed him. Hadn't opened him. I'll weigh him in the box. He was heavier than I thought. 56 grams. He'll still be a heavyweight. All right. We got to run this again. Two one thousandths advantage for the Rolls Royce to hold his spot. So the loser of this will probably be off the list when that super races. Two one thousandths. Let's do it. Oh, smoked his ass. Goodbye, Rolls Royce. FedEx coming through. We got packages to deliver. One of them is your ass whooping. Goodbye. Goodbye. He ain't gonna outrun old evil number three, is he? That'd be crazy. Evil number three. The fastest evil number three I got. I've got a couple. I believe that's the fastest funny car on my list, other than a King Kenny. So my number two fucking funny car. Racing modern day matchbox monster. FedEx delivering on Sundays. Here we go. Woo, that was close. 24 to a 31. And I'm going to have to work on these a little bit more. This thing might be a crazy killer. 7 one thousandths advantage for the old fluorescent Dale Earnhardt dragster. I know. Shut up. Alright. Is he going to keep his spot and stop FedEx? Let's find out. Good race again. He got him at 22 at 24 though. Man. I don't know how to tell you how excited I am for that thing, carts. And I had high hopes when I saw it. It felt heavy, the long wheelbase, so I bought a few of them. Oh, everyone I've found since then, well, one that day, two the next day. Whatever. Either way, he's on the list. How about that shit? Oh, he doesn't fit. Of course he doesn't. He's a freaking FedEx truck. He can go just like that. Boom. Oh, man, that's sad. So sad. Now the Super's going to have to knock out the Rolls Royce. Damn it, Tomika. It didn't last long, bud. Because he's about to drag your ass right now. Let's do it. Oh, he didn't. What? Tomika got a fucking hero run. 22-17. To a 21. That's a 22-17. That's nuts. That is intense. Like campers be sleeping. Campers be sleeping in tents. Race two. Oh, he got his ass wrecked that time by 14. I don't know if you can see it super good, but man, this car is so narrow. Look at him on the track. But he runs so straight. And he's so got off the list right there. Still, I'm going to keep him up for gatekeeper to the gatekeeper or something there we go see can he beat we're gonna go on skip to number three i feel like he might have a shot at him let's find out man i'm torn between how i feel about that rolls royce getting off the list oh got him 21 to a 25 swap him up last race before we get off of here oh i got some more stuff i got Man, I, of course I do. I got so much stuff to show you. So much stuff to show you. It's all coming. Got all kind of plans, all kind of moves. Hustling, shaking, baking. Shit getting done. Race two. Ten one thousandths. Bernie Carr keeps his spot. So that means they're going to battle it out for the gatekeeper spot. Glad I didn't race them before because now it's the FedEx trying to deliver a win. Best thing I've ever said on here. And the super duper Toyota. Still the fastest Toyota Super I got.
race one. Ooh, that was close. 25 to a 32. FedEx hauling ass and packages. That's what he do. That's what he do. That's why they make the big bucks. That's the 25 to 32, seven one thousandths. Comes down to this. Comes down to this. Which one's gonna be the gatekeeper? Here we go. Shit, who won the first race? I don't even remember. <laughs> it was FedEx, wasn't it? I think so. Yeah, FedEx won. So he lost that to about three one thousandths. He will keep the spot. There it is. And this list is not all the way accurate. It's got a couple cards I have not put back on the list, but they probably will be. That's the super I've got. Exciting. Even more exciting. A fucking FedEx truck that's in the stores right now. It's on the list. That's crazy. Got one Siku that I own right there. Siku. Cool. Go to the next one. Bottoms up. Left is the faster. The second column on the right. That's the slower column. Flame runners. Look at that. Hong Kong sun. There's the leaders. We'll look at our lightweights real quick. If you want to see something, you'll have to pause it because I ain't got time for that. I got shit to do. Working for myself, making my own fucking way. I mean, if I don't get going, I don't get shit. Fast and Furious, got that new set out at Walmart. Go pick them up. If not, I'm going to have them for sale for extremely marked up prices because I got to eat, fool. But it'll be cheaper than eBay. Guarantee that. Especially if I know you. I'll rip you off according to how much I think you have. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, man. Check out a couple more little loose ones I got, man. I got two whole cases of old school color changers. I got the hard to find purple hot bird. Find one of them somewhere. Blue hot bird. I got that double loop exclusive car. Man, I got all kind of good shit. Look at the condition of some of these things, boy. About that, I gotta race him too. Look at all kind of things. Man, I, I've been having so much fun working my ass off with this, but it's cool, man. Super cool. Just good shit after good shit. All right, that's some fairly decent ones, but man, who doesn't want to try to do this for a living? I don't know. Picked up some Mario's today. Everybody trying to buy these Godzillas. Red Pill Diecast. Facebook. Check it out, motherfuckers. Be back soon. It won't be a year, I promise you, because I gotta advertise my shit. I gotta make some money. And I gotta bring Diecast Racing back to life. That shit's dead. Don't be surprised if I show up at your race. I'm out.